Hi, Sanchera. Uh, I was going to go through the phone system a little bit. When you do get voicemails, you get notifications to email. Um, and this will go directly to you once uh, we switch over from me to you. To get into the phone system, we use a, come on, open up, a company called Call Hippo. These are virtual phone numbers. They come in. You dial into the dashboard. You don't really have to log in here too often. Okay, you sign in. So these are the phone numbers that we have. Sedona North, there's a North Band number. That's the one on the bands. It's the primary number. People do call this Vancouver number. I went through logs. I don't see a lot of people calling the West Van number, which is something we may want to delete later on because these cost phone numbers cost $6 per month. So $72 for a phone number year round. And then this system for one user costs $22 Canadian per month. Um, let's see, activity fee. Call planner, call scripts. Users, you'll only want one user. You get charged per user in this app. So two users, you and Jason, you're going to be paying 44 instead of 22. I'm not really a fan of that. Uh, this is for like call centers and stuff. So a lot of this functionality is just crap. You don't need integrations. Is tying into like really big box like. CRMs again stuff to get the one thing you really want to use routinely if you miss a call and you can't see it on your phone or it comes in and You want to retrieve the phone number, right? So this is the log and shows you who's been calling so I, I Don't like to use the app on the phone. It just re redirects to my cell phone I answer or they leave a message or whatever you get a bunch of calls and you're like somebody called me at, at 2:30. Who was it? I don't see the phone number on my phone or whatever. You can log in here and see the logs. So you see at 233, oh yeah, here's the phone number. You can copy it and then you go into your CRM if you want to, you know, update a customer. And so this was the phone number, right? This is the person. Yeah, so everything's activity feed in here. Call planner, don't need it. Reports, don't need it. Power dialer, again, like this is a lot of stuff for like call centers, full-fledged call centers, call scripts. This is all garbage. Um, there is a part to manage the IVR. So let's see, let's go in here. Yeah, Sedona, North Vancouver. Go into settings. So this is where you can manage the, the message. So this is where it redirects the phone number. So here you see I have I set up by VR and personalize your customer's experience. This is stuff you'll all need to play with. And of course there's help in here somewhere. I don't know. Go to callhippo.com. Don't have help files and such. But essentially, you just want to use it to like reference where. So this one, it says uh, IVR text, welcome message, welcome, blah, 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 blah. I don't like to use the IVR. I just have it go directly to the cell phone. If you don't answer in a certain number of times, you get they get this message. Thank you for calling Sedona. Voicemail. And it's like a nice English female voice. You can play this back and see if you like it, or you can call the number. Call queue, not needed. Call recording, that's good to have, I guess. Um, and then open hours, so it will ring you during open hours, and then outside of hours, it'll go straight to the voicemail. They can leave a message. So if you want to set your hours to 
say finish on Sunday by three o'clock or be closed on Sunday, you won't get phone calls when they call the virtual number. It'll just go direct to voicemail and you 